Hey, good afternoon everybody. Sammy Thunder here, back again today with another video. And as you can see in front of you right now, we have a sportscards.com, two boxes, 1960s tops and 1964 tops. This one comes with eight cards. This one comes with 15. We have some nice chances of getting ourselves some great rookie cards. As you can see, I don't know, you can see the Willie McCovey rookie card here. Again, nice Bob Clemente potential second year Bob Gibson. So we have potential for a lot of great cards here. And I would love to get my hands on a 64 Willie uh, be, or Mickey Mantle or any of these guys would be great. So I was inspired by COG Sports Cards as well as Retro Robbie. They've been busting into these. And uh, so I had to pull the pl uh, pull the trigger on it and go ahead and uh, get get myself a couple of boxes of these guys. Uh, additionally, I got some um, through the mail content as well for Yell. So after we uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save this for last. This is the best part. Although the through the mail stuff that I got uh, through some Facebook claims were pretty awesome too. So let me show you what I have from that. So uh, let me pick out these groups here first. So. This I got for 90 bucks altogether. It's not just this one card, but the whole bunch I'm about to show you. Uh, 95 shipped if you include shipping. But we have we have a 70, 273 Ryans that are in pretty, pretty damn good condition. Um, the center is a little off, but you know, the like this one's pretty is this one's pretty good. This one's a beautiful 1971 tops. Has a small ding on the corner there. And here we have we have three. 1974 Nolan Ryan cards. I think that I think that's a great great deal. 90 bucks for all. Uh, how many do I have? One, two, three, six Nolan Ryan cards. That's average is about fifteen dollars a card. And I know for in these condition, these cards are definitely surpassing the total uh, collectively. I mean, so this is a nice uh, nice Facebook find. And this was from another uh, Facebook claim sale that they were doing. Um, Nobody claimed this uh, Paul Molitor Allen Trammell rookie card. It's a little beat up, but um, you know the corners a little dinged and the edge wear is a little bit. But for ten, I think I got it for ten or eleven dollars for this card. Pretty good. Um, here we got the probably the best card of the day, Dave Cowens. Uh, this one I got for twenty five dollars, and it probably goes for about that price, if not a little bit more. But I love collecting Celtics. Larry Bird is my favorite player, and I love collecting. I have now Dave Cowens, John Havlicek, uh, both their rookie cards. So I'm kind of working my way up. Hopefully get the Bird and Magic rookie card, but that's a little out of my budget right now. And here we have a beautiful 67 Lou Brock I got for $6. This one nobody claimed, and um, I snatched it right up. Here's a 73 Lou Brock. This one I think was about 4 or $5. This one was awesome. This one was awesome. The Ozzy Smith rookie card was was left untouched. Got it for nine bucks. Nine dollars for this, and it's notoriously you know off center. But you know this card could fetch probably you know double that, maybe twenty twenty five dollars in this condition. And finally finish it off. Lisa probably would appreciate this a lot. We got our, our famous Detroit Tiger Al Kane line. I love picking up these cards. This one I got for like three or four dollars. So in the condition that it's in, had to go had to grab it. So pretty nice uh, Facebook claim. Um, before I jump into this, I will be doing. I'll be. I'm going to be going upstate for uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I'm really excited about this because I'll be cruising past Cooperstown, and stop or stopping by and uh, checking out some of the card shops there. But I have a guy upstate that I know that has a lot of 59s and a lot of 69 cards that I'm looking for, and so I'll definitely be able to make a nice big dent there. He has an antique shop. Right outside Cooperstown, I'm gonna check it out, and I'll definitely uh, get some good footage this weekend for y'all, so we could do another video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have some uh, more stuff for you when uh, when we get close to uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, these guys. Um, I can't make up my mind which one I want to open up first. I think I'm gonna do the 1960 because you get a little bit more at the 64, more cards. So I want to try to kind of build it up a little bit. So we'll do the 1960 first. Um, cool little boxes they have set up here. Let's see, there we go. And to make sure no one takes anything, we got ourselves a nice seal here. Oop, didn't get it all the way. There we go. 
Let's see what we have inside. A nice stack here. Those are, okay, so those are the eight cards. So it's everything there. Okay. Got the sticker. I'm not too familiar with this uh, with this company as far as like where you know which ones are the which cards are on the best side, which ones are not. Plus we got a bonus card. Let me put this down here for now. So I guess the bonus card I'll scratch and I'll look this up after. But leading us off, we have Dick Gray. Oh wow, this is a good one. Check it out, Don Newcomb. That's a beautiful Don Newcomb card. Here we have Otero, Deal, and Moses. Get Ellis Burton. Got Bob Lillis. Al Stieglitz. Johnny Padres and Joe Gordon. But the Don Newcomb card, that's a nice one. Really good centering too on this. All around, nice and nice and sharp. So that's our first box. <clears throat> Bonus card, we'll put that off to the side. Let's hope for the maze here. I'd love to get myself a uh, 64 maze. Mant I mean, obviously the mantles would be nice. The mantle would be nice too. Uh, okay, this one was already... I must have cut through this one already. Here we are. Is there anything else? Put this down here for now. And we got the bonus card here, as y'all can see. Leading us off the way, Larry Brown. Got ourselves Rich Rollins. Pete Ward. Hal Reniff. Here's the Cleveland Indians team card. It's pretty nice. Team cards are usually pretty good. Uh, Pete Mickelson and Bob Meyer, New York Yankees rookies. Here's Rusty Stout. That might be... Uh, that might be his rookie card, actually. Pretty, very cool. Or is it? Is that might be a second year? Second year card. Don Don Blessing game. Here's Tim McCarver. It's a nice one. Ralph Terry. Got ourselves Gene Alley, Orlando McFarlane, Ed Cranepool, Dave Duncan, Tom Reynolds, Ken Hubbs, and Walt Alston. So not as good as the, the Dun Nukem, but uh, still, you know, Rusty Staub. <clears throat> Ed Cranepole is a cool one. Tim McCarver. Very cool cards. Always nice to have more vintage cards to add to your collection. But definitely the star of the day is that Don Nukem card. Beautiful card there. Add that to the PC. Add all of them to the PC. And I'll check out these uh, bonus cards, see what these are all about. I'm not really sure exactly what this, how this works, but um, all together, yeah, I'm definitely quite pleased with this. It's a nice little vintage uh, add-on piece. So cool cards to add to the collection. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much. If you are new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right corner of your screen. You can be in the know of future videos. And uh, speaking of future videos, I'm doing my giveaway very soon. I'm at 179 subscribers. Once we get to 200, we're going to do that giveaway. And I got three cards for you to, to do the giveaway. Nolan Ryan 79, Ozzy Smith 82, and then that 87th Future Stars Bo Jackson. So if you want to be a part of it, uh, I have a link on the upper right corner of this video. You can click on it now. You can wait to the end of the video and uh, see the, um, the video link there as well or check in my description uh, for more details. But thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care.